So next are our friends from Italy. Yep, Youth Action for Peace Italia with Luca Cantelli. Yeah, because I'm really shy, I need. Very <laughs> team. <laughs> okay, I know it's like quite late, so I need to check. We need to check your attention, so I will give you something. Just she will explain later. It's nothing dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> National and international association, in the sense that it's an international association with uh, uh, all over the world, and we are representing the national uh, association in Italy. It's uh, non-religious, non-governative, and no profit, and it was created in Italy in uh, uh, 1971. It's a member of two international networks. One is coordinating committee for international voluntary service of UNESCO, and the other is. Uh, uh, alliance of European Voluntary Service Organization. Everyone here uh, knows it because uh, a lot of these organizations are part of it. So um, our mission is, uh, okay, uh, this is a, a quote from uh, an Australian Aborigine uh, that says, if you, ca if you came to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you came because you think your freedom is connected to mine, then let's start working together. Everyone can uh, imagine what okay. this means. And so we have now... And then for the... Um, okay, just, just, for just one moment. If you have to blame someone, blame Stefano our uh, general secretary that sent us here. <laughs> just, just remember this. <laughs> it's not our food. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we do a, a simple uh, oral game for uh, the working together. Okay. So this say ha. Uh, check. Uh, okay. This. Ah. <laughs> okay, check. Repeat. This. This. Boom. 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 So. Boom. 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 Okay. Ready? Boom. 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 Boom boom Fantastic. Okay, thank you for your 
our cooperation. It was very nice and it was like representing what is the philosophy of, uh, of YAP, of this organization, is to work together and to build something together. So uh, that was the, the meaning of, of the quote, that we are not going to somewhere else to, um, to teach something to the others, but to learn each other. And YAP is um, active in Italy since 70. Uh, what happened uh, that there was the, a flood in Florence, so a group of uh, activists, of volu uh, volunteers, uh, young students, uh, at um, uh, the, the inhabitants there uh, for the flood. And since then, uh, uh, YAP is uh, first. Uh, was a Christian movement for peace and then was part of uh, Youth Action for Peace. And uh, in the last 50 years, there, there, were, there are a lot of uh, uh, volunteering activities in, uh, in it at international and national level. And uh, we'll see what kind of programs there are here. So now let's Let's start with the uh, cards you have there. And uh, you can see that some of them have uh, objective uh, in there. So let's see what are the objectives of uh, Yang. Yeah. So who has some objectives? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the first day. So we can uh, read together. So you have one? Conscious and active citizens. So, conscious and active citizens. Okay, uh, let's, uh, oh, sorry, for young people. For young people. So also with uh, with young people and for young people. I don't know if you want to add something. The third one? Promotes peace. Promote peace. So one um, some of uh, the programs of uh, YAP, it's for promoting peace uh, among local communities and international volunteering. So it's uh, the way uh, to, uh, to build something together in a positive way. Constructive way. Uh, fourth one? To promote sustainable development? Yes, they are also, YAP is also working with developing countries. There are also um, uh, people coming from the dev uh, developing countries, and it's uh, also a, like a, a way, a style of life, uh, let's say, to promote sustainable development and to be um, uh, ourselves as well like promoting sustainable development, so uh, trying to, uh, to think about the future. So not just we are here now and we are exploding everything, but let's think about the future generations. Uh, fifth one? Education for peace. Yes, so there are uh, our programs, there are uh, education for peace, so uh, there are programs in, uh, in, uh, with, with volunteers that promoting peace, so how to promote uh, to multiply the effect. So education for peace and uh, six. Six. intercultural coexistence. Uh, intercultural coexistence, uh, well, I think when work comes, <laughs> uh, I think it's one of the best examples where there are different cultures together and so they can coexist and build together. Don't kill each other, but <laughs> try to survive. And the last one, I think. Non formal, the social and cultural education. Yes, it's like uh, also um, the methodology that we use is non formal education. So I think experiential education, anyone here who, uh, knows what it's about. So um, it's like concepting concepts together. We try to do something like this now, but the time is very short, but try it. Uh, I think there is another one. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's <laughs> the first one. Consistent active citizens. Yeah, what, what is the aim of this? It's to, to have active uh, and conscious citizens. So. 
Let's move. Let's move. <laughs> okay, so there are other cars, uh, different color. So we can also see the activities of the app. So no one can get bored because almost we everyone need to check your attention. Car. So green one. <laughs> the green one? The green one, yeah. International World Camp in Italy and abroad. Okay. So the uh, app organized international work camps in Italy and also abroad in the different countries in the world. Then the second one? The app is also organized in medium and long term volunteering projects. Yeah, uh, there, uh, these are um, uh, medium and long term uh, programs, so it's from two months, I think. Yeah. From two to uh, 12 months. And uh, they are similar to EBS, let's say, but there are different groups. Third one? EBS projects. Yeah, as you yeah, all yeah. know. <laughs> Everyone knows. or Libera are a strong association in Italy. Okay, so I will leave you <laughs> with the last quote. It isn't enough to talk about peace, one must believe in it, and it is enough to believe in it, one must work on it. And I think we are working on it. Okay, I will leave the word <laughs> to Okay, him. I will be able really to For the best practice. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, the first uh, best practice that uh, we will uh, that we want to introduce you uh, is a uh, is a work camp. Yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. Technical problem. <laughs> So we have just one best practice because it's the most important. No, it's just one. It's the very best. Right. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have uh, the video of a youth exchange that uh, took place in uh, June 2000 and. Uh, <laughs> we can uh, even listen the music if we want. Okay. You have to listen to me today. Sorry. Okay, uh, it's a work, uh, it's a train, uh, it's exchange that we managed in uh, 2011 and uh, was with uh, Kosovo, Serbia, Iceland, and uh, Italy. Uh, the main topic is not uh, a youth exchange for a local action. You, it's not so important, this, this aspect. The most important thing is that uh, to make this project uh, we uh, try to involve uh, elderly from uh, the town that was uh, Montesole. I don't know if you if you know something about this place. It was uh, a really important place uh, during the Second World War because there was uh, a huge uh, massacre in, uh, inside this mountain because uh, uh, there was, uh, I don't know, a chicken? Mass murder, mass murder, uh, and uh, any genocide. Gen genocide, yeah, genocide, and it was uh, about an entire community just erased. So it's uh, really important for me in, uh, in particular because I live near that era, and uh, okay, it's quite funny to see something so funny while I'm speaking about uh, something so sad, but. Uh, 
we want to communicate both the aspect that uh, was in the in this uh, experience because uh, what can you go over there? <laughs> I'm, I'm shy, I know, so... No, it's just that uh, uh, during this uh, experience uh, we involved this elderly that survived this uh, genocide and uh, to make them communicate with uh, two, uh, com two countries um, that, has particular, that has particular story, just like Kosovo and Serbia. It was really interesting how to uh, put a, a linkage between these uh, two experiences. It was really a good experience for both of them, even the youngster and the elderly people. Another aspect of this uh, beautiful experience was that it uh, was managed by a non-formal group of volunteer that uh, was uh, Yato Bologna, the same that I was thinking, uh, speaking before that uh, take your, uh, took a responsibility through this experience and other experience uh, to in local level and now has decided to create a, their own association. And now uh, there is this association that uh, in the 1st of February proposed the uh, 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 answer to a call in the Youth in Action program with uh, Alex, our partner, we hope. We don't know if they will accept it, but we think so. <laughs> <laughs> and so to, to represent uh, how uh, just small action like this one can uh, develop other uh, situations because now we are uh, collaborating with uh, uh, the municipality of Bologna and other associations to create a network and create a partnership even to the local level and to the international level. was too fast, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.